Welcome to Shift 4 in this tutorial on the F5 and 55 Wi-Fi function. The latest major 1.2 update for the F5 and F55 included the wireless control function via Wi-Fi, which utilizes the browser of your smartphone, tablet or laptop to control the camera wirelessly. With a range of about 10 meters line of sight, this new capability is useful for working on jibs and cranes, or with a camera mounted monitor, a camera assistant could control menus as well as the settings of the camera. First, connect the IFU WLM3 dongle to the camera. Remove the cap near the front of the camera next to the viewfinder port. Plug in the dongle and replace the cap. To activate the Wi-Fi, go into the menu, scroll down to System and go into Wi-Fi. Select Wi-Fi and Enable. While in this menu, select SSID and password to display the password which you'll need in a moment. Now connect to the camera's Wi-Fi network. View wireless networks in your device. Select the camera and enter the password displayed in the SSID and password menu of the camera. Finally, go to your device's internet browser and type 10.0.0.1 into the URL. You'll be asked for a username and password which can both be found in the camera menu. Go to system and basic authentication. Type the username and password into the browser and you're connected. Your device will remember the network username and password so you'll only need to do these once. At the top of the display are the current settings, timecode and audio levels. The assign page allows you to assign functions to the four user buttons and turn them on and off. The main page has all the functions of the camera's side LCD display, record function and bars, plus white balance and black balance execution. The cursor page allows you to enter the menu to change settings as well as browse the camera's status pages, however this requires the use of an external monitor. The Wi-Fi requires line of sight and has a max range of approximately 10 meters. If it loses connection, you need to reconnect manually. This is, however, quite quick to do by just re-entering the URL. The fourth page on the controller is for playback, but unfortunately it's not possible to access the thumbnail menu from your device. This has to be done on the side of the camera, making this page somewhat redundant. This, however, may be resolved in a future upgrade. For more information, technical help, or to hire an F5 or F55, contact Shift 4.